Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with me. We are doing something special, so grab out your postcards. So if you have our box, we have a little postcard that looks like this and it has an address. So we are doing our Let's Make Art Matter together. Now, what that is, is we get to come together as a community to be kind to someone. That's the best way to just be yourself. So we want to celebrate two people. Her name is Bet and Grandma Mary. So if you see the photo, Bet is a great woman and she actually lost her husband recently who was a photographer. So they had art in their lives, just like how you're here with us and you have art in your life. She is, she, they did as a family as well. So right now, Bet lives with Grandma Mary. Grandma Mary seems like an epic person. <laughs> And she's a hundred. Holy shnikes. <laughs> so we want to send them some art love. So to do that, we're going to be making this postcard and it's, we're going to write art is magical because that is the theme of this box and art really is magical and spreading kindness is as well. So we're going to be doing this with our watercolors. So grab out your watercolors and if you have your palette or if you have a plate, I would squeeze out a few drops of the three different colors you have. So we have, do I have a scratch piece paper? We're gonna be using Orchid. And actually, if you wanna do this with me, we're gonna make a little color wheel together. So maybe grab out an extra piece of paper, you can use the back of something, and do a little swatch like that of the three colors that you have. So we have that one, and then we have yellow and you'll notice that when I'm switching colors I'm swishing in my water with my brush to get all the original color out and then we're going to switch colors and we're using blue so we're going to be making those or we're going to be using those three colors but art is magical and we get to make three more colors so what we're going to do is on your palette you're going to mix these two colors together. So to do that, what you can do is you're going to do this with me and squeeze one drop of your orchid and one drop of your yellow. And then you mix them together and you get a whole new color. Whoa. Woo! So it makes this really pretty red or orange color. Ketchup. Or, that is straight ketchup. That looks like ketchup. <laughs> Did you, is that Heinz? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so then we're going to keep going around our wheel. And so we're going to mix, let's see, we're going to mix these two colors together. So when you mix blue, so one drop of blue and one drop of yellow, let me make sure my brush is clean. We get, I was going to say Ninja Turtle Green. Oh, I like Ninja Turtle Green. <laughs> We get green, so we made a whole new color. Now, let's do one more. So we're gonna spin one drop of our orchid, one drop of blue. Oh, I still love this color. You get this really pretty deep blue color. That is a deep blue and I like that. <laughs> so, those are the colors of the rainbow, actually, that we're going to use to create our pain. So it hel it's helpful to have that all set up, then you are, we're ready to rock and roll. Now, we like to do a motto together to get in the zone. Keenan's doing his shimmy. Yes, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> so if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Let's do this. <gasps> Boom! You can do it to the screen as well because I'm doing it right there with you. Yes. Okay. Now, to make this really fun rainbow, I'm going to start with a pencil because I'm just going to draw it out really quickly. You can do this with me as well. Now, we have at the end of our rainbow a magical puff of cloud. That's what I'm gonna call it. Magical puff of cloud. <laughs> so to do that is you're gonna draw it in the bottom half of your little canvas. And what you can do is you just draw curves and you're gonna connect them together. They can be any size you like. They can be really big. 
They can be small. They're like little C shapes connected to each other. Yes, exactly. I love that. So you're going to connect those together to make your magical cloud. Then you can just draw two lines. So it's helpful to think of this as just your guideline, just there to help you be your friend when you go to paint. So I'm going to draw one on the left side. I'm going to kind of draw another curve or a C shape. And then I'm going to draw one on the right side. So my, my rainbow is about that big. So we're using our imagination and you're seeing it. Then you're going to draw the other line. Is that dark enough? Yep. That okay. looks great. So what we're using is I love to use this, is we're using our imagination because what you're seeing is pretend like this rainbow, let's see like this, this rainbow is arching up and then we're seeing the right side of it and it's landing on this cloud. So that's how you create, is you picture something in your mind and then you bring it to life on your paper. So that's what we're doing here together. Now, we are ready to paint. So you have your colors already. Now, when you're doing the rainbow, you can actually make it any color you like. If you want to do, maybe you like these three colors and you want to do that. I would suggest to paint colors that are close together because it'll help it, it'll help it keep that bright, vibrant color that you see right here. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to pick that up. So you're using your brush and you're dipping it in your paint. And all you're going to do is you're going to push and paint. And you're just going to draw a stripe or an area. Then swish off your paintbrush and let's move to the next color. So we're going to go to, we're going to go around this wheel. So I'm going to pick up my next color. And what you can do, this is, is when you overlap and when they touch, when colors touch, just like you're doing on here, when colors touch on your paper, they're also gonna make another color. Now I realize it's a little bit light. I think I wanna go in, if this is you and it's a little light, you can go in and add more color. This is your painting, you get to make it really vibrant. So I wanna add a little bit more color. I'm gonna mix these over again. Blue. Let's see, I'm gonna keep switching, I'm turning my wheel. Can they see that too? If you pull it down a little bit. Okay, let's turn, let's do that. There you go. So now I'm gonna go through this blue, pick that up. So as we're painting, we're just go moving along our rainbow and coloring it out. I actually really, I like those colors. I do too. So this is when, as you are doing this, if you decide just like I did right now, I really like that. Maybe you, let's see what happens if we pick up the purple. Let's make a little bit more purple. Like I said, this is your rainbow. Rainbow can, rainbows can be any color. So I think I'm just gonna, I might do different shades. So shades are, are different areas of your color wheel. So I really like all these colors. So I think I might make my rainbow all those different colors. Ooh. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I like how they're blending together too. Yeah. I love how Keenan called that out. So you can see how when they're touching, they kind of explode into each other. And that's something that we've been learning. And it's such a fun thing to let your watercolors do its thing and see what happens. So you're just gonna keep painting. And so I'm gonna overlap, just like I was saying, and we're gonna make actually a new color in the middle of it. And keep drawing out. Let's see, let me get in blue. So again, you get to make this any color you like. You'll see that on this one, we did the rainbow colors. This one, I decided to make it kind of blues and purplies. Oh, I love what's happening right there. I know, it's so pretty. So that's actually it for the painting. And you know what? If you decide that you're in the paint zone, maybe go grab another piece of paper and make more cards. Yeah. It's the perfect thing. Maybe you, you can do different colors on every card. Yeah. You can have a whole wall of them. That would be really That'd pretty. Be amazing. He's so pretty. So maybe you do that. Maybe you go and grab another card and make another rainbow. When 
you are done and you'd like to move on, we are going to be using a gold jelly roll. Now, if you don't have this one, just grab any color pen or you can use your watercolors as well. But I want you to use this to draw your clouds. So what I'm thinking is Let's draw our clouds first. So I'm gonna use, nope, I changed my mind. This is what happening, This is what happens as you are drawing. You, can, you are the power of deciding, or you have the power to decide how, what order you wanna do things. So I actually thought it might be better for us to write our letters first, and then we're gonna outline the cloud. So I'm gonna write art is magical. You can write, you can write Grandma Mary, you can write Bet, you can write 100. You can write, you are magical. Yes, you can definitely do that. Or you are 100. <laughs> you can definitely do that too. So whatever you'd like to write, you are going to write that in the center. So what you can do is I would grab a pencil if that helps and you're going to write it out. So I'm gonna write art. Actually, I'm gonna write you are magical. I like that. So I'm going to write it in pencil first, writing it in my cloud. Magical. Then when I go to use my jelly roll, now all I have to do is trace it. So I'm going to go over my letters, I'm going to use this gold jelly roll. And as you are doing this, think about Grandma Mary and Bet that you are making this for. Think about, I'm so excited and I'm thinking about this as I'm doing this, that they are going to have a whole wall of rainbows. And it's going to fill their home with so much love and you are such an amazing person for helping doing this with us. So thanks for being here, everyone. Yeah, thank you. So you're gonna trace over your letters. And then when you're done with that, if I'm moving a little bit too fast, feel free to pause and then you can come back. But when you are done with your letters, you are going to then trace over your puff of clouds. So you're gonna draw lines. And when I do this, I like this actually, because I think I'm gonna go over my watercolors And I might have a little bit of my watercolor showing through. I love that. Oh, I do too. So you're going to outline. And maybe you add at the end, if you decide we've been learning stars, maybe you want to add a star. Yes. Maybe you want to add dots. This is your painting. You are an artist and you are creative. I really like that actually, adding some magical points to it. And then guess what? You're done. Woo woo. Woo, that was a great project. Then the last, I, whoa, I guess the last thing is cover your cap, clean up your supplies, and then put the postcard in the mail. So you'll notice that it, if you have our box, it's already stamped. And this is a great thing because you're gonna send it off. It's gonna go to Grandma Mary and Bet, and they're gonna feel that love that you created. And I want you to know that that's so powerful. So, I hope you had so much fun. Thank you for being here. Keenan and I love having you here. And always remember you are brave, kind, and creative. I'll see you next time.